let's take a few minutes to look at how you put a paid app onto your iPad. For me to get started, I'm going to open up a browser window, and I'm going to go to Apple's Volume Purchase Program website by typing in VPP. Once the page loads, I'm going to click on sign in and sign in uh, with my unique Bogan Program Facilitator ID and password. Now at this point when you log into the educational store you see your current value um, credit on the account. You can redeem a voucher by clicking here. And then if you click on your, uh, your profile name, what you get is a running list of all of the previous purchases you've made so you can inventory those particular purchases. We're going to look for an app called Notability. And Notability is a PDF reader that allows you to interact with the PDFs and, and annotate them and then export those as a new PDF to turn into the teacher. I click on Notability here and I select the iPad app. And then you get a fairly good description of what Notability can do if you scroll down here. And then what also you are given is an accounting. And you see that if you purchase up to 19 of the apps, it costs you you know, almost two dollars. If you purchase one more app, it goes to half price. So a rule of thumb here at Bogan is that if I'm going to be purchasing more than 10 copies of an app, I always purchase at least 20. That way I get it at a half price and I'm able to get extra codes that I can bank and use at a later date. For this particular teacher's cart, there are 28 iPads, but then the teacher has an iPad as well. So I'm going to actually buy 29 codes for that, so that way the teacher has redemption code for himself click on continue and then I'm going to be prompted to confirm my purchase. I'm going to click on buy and now it'll take probably three to five minutes for uh, the VPP site to generate the spreadsheet of codes for you to download. In the meantime you get this little processing status here and then you can see below all the other codes I purchased with the spreadsheets. Let me log into my Gmail account and that way I can wait and see when I get that email. And here's the email that's generated. It says uh, Bogan PF1, your codes are ready to be downloaded. You can go to your volume purchase program account and then click download link next to the item. I'm going to click the link and then you're going to notice how the download comes up in the lower left hand corner. Alright, now that the codes are downloaded, let me click on the spreadsheet. If you click just one time, it'll, it should prompt it to open. And then I'm going to take the very first code of the 29. And if I triple click and then I hit Command C, I can copy that particular alphanumeric code. And then I want to open up iTunes and I'm going to use this one code to redeem a copy of that app so I can then fish it out of iTunes and add it to Configurator. So now that I'm in the iTunes store, I'm going to come over here to Redeem, and then I'm going to be prompted to sign in. And then I can come down here and hit Command V to paste. The code comes up and then I hit Redeem. And then in about a second or two, I'm going to get a message that says the code has been redeemed and your app is now downloading, which you can see right here. Now that our app has uh, finished downloading, what we can do actually is we can um, verify that it is in our library by clicking on library and then we see Notability has appeared right there. And then I'm going to click once on Configurator to open up that particular software. I have yet to connect my iPads to the MacBook Pro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on prepare and then click on apps. And at this point, I want to check all these apps. That way, when I update the iPad with Notability, these free apps stay on the iPads. At this point, I'm going to hit plus. And then let me back out so you can see exactly what I have to click on. First, you click on music. And then you click on iTunes. iTunes Media mobile applications and here you see Notability. I click to open Notability. 
gonna type in my password and then it'll load in in about 10 to 15 seconds. Once a paid app has been put onto your apps list, uh, double click on the zero and you need to import the redemption codes, which is that spreadsheet that I downloaded from the um, VPP website. I click on import redemption codes and now I remember that that particular Excel file went to my downloads folder. It's right here. I click on it once and then I click on open. And now you see all the codes uh, populate on the right are on the left hand side. At this point I'm going to hit done and now I see that I have 29 available codes. At this point you see that I have 29 redemption codes and remember I have 28 iPads in the cart plus I have the extra code to give to my teacher once this particular syncing process is finished. I now have 28 of 28 uh, plugged in. I'm going to click on the apps section. I'm going to check notability. You can leave the paid apps checked, that's alright. By leaving them checked, what it's going to do is it's going to tell Configurator that there may be an iPad that needs this extra code. And when it doesn't find it, it's just going to default to leaving uh, the one in its place. So at this point, I'm going to hit apply. And then just I'm just going to give it some time. So at this point, I've hit apply. And as you can see, I have status for each one of the iPads that comes up here, giving me an, an estimated time remaining until the iPad has been fully synced and updated. As the time goes by, you see that uh, this list of iPads on the right-hand side collapses in on itself until there are none left. At that particular point in time, if there's any feedback that Configurator is giving you, such as a device was unable to be configured or updated, you're going to get a status uh, message in this area here. And as the iPads finish, uh, this particular clock will change into a battery icon, meaning that these iPads are done, and you can see that they're now charging. And at this point, you see that there are no status messages uh, that were communicated to me via Configurator. In fact, it came back to my apps page. So now the last thing for you to do before you close out a Configurator is to unplug a couple of your iPads at random to make sure that the apps you wanted to uh, have um, installed are installed. Uh, here it shows me that I have one code left. So what I can do now is I can tell the teacher that they can open up Configurator and they can double click here and now they see the codes available for them right there to redeem on their own iPad.